Hey, Sean Knight Fire here. So uh, I bought this uh, solar ground mount, um, just kind of see what it was all about. Um, decent system, um, however, wasn't quite as good as uh, I needed it to be. It was about $160, I think it's made by uh, EcoWorthy. And it's composed of eight of these one meter long bars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And um, the problem I have with it is uh, my panels are about 39 inches long, a little bit more. Each of these are 39, so I can't quite fit three across. Um, and this is just partially reassembled, just to show you the layout of it. So I can't quite fit three, I guess it's called medium sized panels across when you factor in the addition of the, uh, the Z brackets on the inside and the outsides. So uh, I'm gonna see what I can do about building this a little bit bigger. The other problem with this is, um, even when you have it assembled properly, um, it's too short this way as well. So my panels stick out quite a ways. Um, and it just, since it's three different pieces, um, it's not super sturdy. So I'm gonna go to Lowe's, buy a few parts, might have to get a few parts on Amazon and see if I can build something instead of four that fits instead of four 100 watt panels or I guess two 250 to 300 watt panels, uh, which only gets you about 400 to 600 watts. I want to be able to fit, you know, three 300 watt panels. I think mine are 250 watt, but they're about the same size. So yeah, I'm going to do a, a little bit of uh, modding and um, see if I can come out with a reasonable price, something a little bit more useful. All right, so this is, <laughs> What I came up with is just, it looks exactly the same. However, these are the uh, are three different pieces from, um, I don't know, big box store. Uh, two full length, 10 foot ones, and then I cut uh, this one in half um, to make the uh, vertical ones. This steel's a lot thicker, this steel's a lot sturdier. Um, and then I bought a couple bases, and then I'm gonna try using this uh, these wood planks. I think I'll be stronger enough I needed a higher, um, I wanted more, a wider support. Um, and then I bought those, uh, those feet there, just they're pretty cheap on Amazon. So, however, I did reuse uh, from the kit, the Eagle or the kit, a lot of the hardware, including these brackets that are hard to find. And then in the bottom here, I'm gonna put two of these together and use like a, a slider system on each side so I can adjust the angle. And I'll see, I'll show you that when I have it all put together. Um, so yeah, we'll get this put together. I still don't think I'm quite wide enough for the three. Uh, most solar panels that size are meter. Mine are a little bit bigger for some reason. Um, but yeah, this should be, this is, feels way more sturdy, way more stable. What else? Um, so yeah, all together uh, price-wise, these are about $35 each, uh, 110-ish, and then the brackets, 120. Uh, wood was pretty cheap. And then I'm gonna be using, I probably use about half of the uh, eco worthy kit which is about eighty dollars so altogether this one's about two hundred dollars which ain't bad but uh yeah it's definitely much stronger all right and here's with all three panels installed um so offset them so this one has one here and then uh one here on top so i kind of offset the two bars but it's still plenty sturdy sturdy um yeah, even if the other eco-worthy one was wide enough and it wouldn't have been tall enough and it was, this one's like way thicker gauge. Um, the back side, um, so I can get a better deal. I gotta clean up my wires obviously, but on the highest point with a 42 inch uh, piece of wood, it's at um, about 35 degrees. And then uh, if I dropped it down to the end there, Let's see on these ends move these to the ends it's about uh, i think about 30 35 degrees which almost maxes out summer but the winter is more important um so yeah i get pretty much full range of motion and then like i said i just need to figure out a way to it's kind of awkward to get under there and unscrew that and then shift it over if there's like a some kind of clamp that i could just slide across it'd be a lot better um but yeah overall works pretty good very yeah definitely awesome very sturdy. Yeah, this is wood, but wood's got a lot of compressive strength. Um, so any suggestions, comments, questions, hit them up below. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.